Hello, and uh, welcome to yet another episode of my Car Mechanic 2021 series. Um, today we're starting the first of four cars for the Aston Martin DLC. Uh, today we'll be working on Aston Martin DB5, which some of you guys may recognize as one of the earlier Bond cars. Uh, yeah, this one's going to be fun. As you can see, these uh, junkyard find... Pretty rough shape here. Um, the engine's not so good. <laughs> but you know what? We're going to make her pretty again. So let's get started. First things first. We get the frame cleaned up. Oh wow, look at that. It The whole thing's the body. There's, there's no separate frame... Uh, Fender pieces or anything. Well, that simplifies things somewhat. I'm just going to pull the rest of this stuff off, which there isn't much to be had. This thing is... Um, yeah, it's... Um, not good shape. There's absolutely jack squat here. That's part of the body too. Okay, so let's go ahead and just nuke all of that. Right. <laughs> I mean, we could do the interior. I mean, there's really nothing keeping us from doing that since... Oh. Not quite what I wanted to do, but... Let's do that. Oh, there's an actual bench back here. Uh, okay, so we're going to need... Okay. Let's get rid of those two. Nope. Got overzealous with the, uh, the clicky. Okay, so... Normally we do the interior later, but it really doesn't matter which order we do it in. So, front seats, steering wheel, and a bench seat. Okay, frame and interior 100%. Okay, let's work on getting the body put back to 100% here. So let me throw this in assembly mode. That. The hood, side mirror, side mirror, windshield, both headlights, a front bumper. Don't you pop me out of... Assembly mode there, buddy. Alright, I think that's going to be a good start. Let's go order some parts. I was literally playing this yesterday, two days ago. I should remember how to play this. Okay, go. Both the mirrors, brand new windshield. We said headlights, front bumper. Okay. Window. Part. Trunk. I probably accidentally nuked something, but if we're missing anything, we'll just come back and get it. It's no big deal. I 
think we've got most of it though. Probably some sundry items that we need to get once we get the the doors put back on. I would love to learn how to do this kind of work in real life. It's, like I said, it's kind of therapeutic in a way. Alright, so who are we missing? Looks like front and rear license plate. Looks like just a side, or side windows. And that looks like we're just about good to go. Super something. I can't read the thing on there. But anyway, let's um this last couple of parts here. Okay. So He's on there. Before we get to paint, let's at least get the suspension far enough along to where she rolls on her own. Uh, that way she's not up on blocks when we're painting her, because it just, just doesn't look right. So you have one set of rim and tire size. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's going to simplify things a bit. Let's check the... Ooh. Oh, right, 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 right. Custom plates. Almost forgot. We, we, can't, we can't ship it like this in, in its current condition. we got to get the custom plates on there. Um, okay, we're going to do a theme build with this one. So... Uh, A -A -M -E. I don't think it'll let us have that, but it will try it. Try my weird ass idea here. Maybe. Oh, we're going to be one letter off. Let's try something different. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to work. I couldn't come up with anything creative, and plus most of the title names for the movies, especially the Sean Connery ones, don't fit on the license plate very easily. That'll work. Okay. Get her up in the air, shall, shall we? I always forget to put it in... Uh, disassembly mode to because you can't when you have it in assembly mode you can't interact with anything except the car apparently first off since they're all the same size let's grab these get the tires good and done first holy moses this thing is crunchy looking let's get you off there too because they only gave us two tires which about the end of the world. Okay. So let's get these apart. 
This whole car is just crunchy. I mean, at least on the inside. Yeah. Those tires are not in good shape either. Oh, we can't even fix any of it. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, hell. Got to get rid of those. Oops. That's some tiny ass tires. Okay. We're gonna have to get everything. Uh, rims. DB5. And these need to be 16s. We're gonna need four. Double check. B5 rim 16s ET0. Okay, so we get rid of those. And as for the tires, let's take a look. Vintage tire Bs, and these need to be 175.85. Double check here. 175.85. I was on the right track. Okay, let's verify. 175.85 R16. 175.85 R16. Alright, good to go. So yeah, I've been wanting to do this car for a while. This was actually one I bought fairly early on. And it's just been sitting in my inventory for, you know, last few weeks at least. At least ever since I bought the DLC. That's, yeah, that was the last one. Oh shit, that one was easy. Excuse my language there. I do tend to use some colorful language sometimes when I'm pleasantly surprised in this game. Or mildly annoyed, one of the two. Okay, that's everybody. Alright, so now we're at the point where we need to make sure that this is complete. And this looks like it's only missing... Let's see, the U-bolts are there. Your guys... Okay, you're all there. So I think we're just down to... The brake pads and the caliper. So let's go over here. Uh, let's get the brake pad. And then caliper... And it's just a bone stock, you know, caliper set. Nothing special, thank goodness. And since these tires are all the same size, we can't really go wrong with which ones we put on. At least that one was only missing a couple of parts. I like to get them rolling on their own. When we go to move them to different areas, just just call it an odd bit of realism. Oh lordy. Speaking of realism. Let's 
going to be missing that whole assembly, isn't she? That thing. Yeah. All right. I need that. I need that. So I might as well buy both of those. Four rubber bushings. Bottom suspension arm. Upper suspension arm. Pretty much every gosh darn thing. Already got the right caliper. The outer tie rod. We're probably going to need an end link in the whole gosh darn assembly. Um, good. On. Front spring. Part. Spring cap. Wrong spring cap. Shock cap. Uh, and link. I don't know if it's going to need A or B. Let's check the other side. Okay, he has an end link B. Good. Get, get over there. Good thing we checked. Boink. Okay. So that should give us everything to get this stitched back together over here. We just need it viable, so like I said, just so the car can sit on its own without needing to be put on blocks. I don't like the look of the vehicle being up on blocks. Just, yeah, it just doesn't sit right with me. Um, okay, we're going to get the rest of this on here first, but we need to get that assembly put back together. It's going to require me to step away for a moment. I don't want to put the tire on yet, because that just wouldn't be right. Uh, join parts. There we go. Okay, got you. Back where you came from. And all those parts we ordered there are just going to mean that much less we have to order later on, so it works out. All right. Let's make sure she can roll on her own. Looking good. All right, let's get her over to paint. Give this thing a shiny... I need coat of paint. Factory color green. Eh. It's got to be almost white. That's too shiny. There we go. I think that's about right. There's any liveries, is there? We're going for the bond car look, so I don't think these are going to work. Okay, yeah, we'll just leave it off. Mm hmm. I imagine there's probably going to be purists that uh, comment on the video saying, that's a shade too dark or a shade too light. They used a cut. Whatever. It's close enough. Close enough for government work. Okay. So that takes care of three things. Body's 100%. Frame and interior 100%. Now it's time to focus on the parts. Let's get started. Do this. Okay, so we're gonna go under the car again because I want to verify that we, whether or not we need to worry about exhaust and or the oil pan. And this car's already looking pretty bitchin'. 
One for the fact I need to recoup my money in this game from all the... Well, here goes the oil change. Uh, okay. Don't have to worry about the drive shaft. That has a very compact gearbox. Where is your starter at? There you go. On the plus side, we don't have to worry about the exhaust. It doesn't exist. I'm pretty sure this gearbox is toast. Nope. Sweet. Let's go ahead and get... While we're here... Drive shaft. Assuming it's just a bog standard one, but let's just let's let's be sure. Oh shit, I can't. We'll worry about that later. Uh starter. Dang it. I'll tell you what, let's worry about the starter later. Let's just go with what we've got. So, like I said, don't have to don't have to worry about the fluids because it looks like all the reservoirs are missing. Uh, don't have to worry about the oil change because, well, someone did it for us or half of it anyway. All oh, right, that's an electrical. Now, uh, do want to get a. I think the game's having a giggle. Right, um... Yeah, let's, um, let's just get that engine out and worry about the drive shaft later. A starter, we can go ahead and get. I can just pop over to electronics. Yes, compact starter. Car, Aston Martin DB5 drive shaft. It in tune up, maybe? Uh, this is all camshafts. Didn't think so. I'm just trying out different things here because I didn't practice this beforehand. Uh, I don't think that's the one. I may have to go find a donor car for this one. Maybe go parts hunting or something. Either that or it's using the standard drive shaft and this thing's just fucking with me. Which, uh, wouldn't be the first time. Alright, let's get the engine out. Sorry, I just got kind of distracted there for a second. Uh, let's go. Let's do this. I don't know how much of this is going to be salvageable. As in, like, actually useful to us. Because there ain't much here to speak of. We're going to make this thing pretty again. Literally nothing. 
anything else on this? Yeah, this engine's picked clean. Makes it easy for us, I suppose. Eh, that engine block might be fixable. Maybe. Let's find out. Whew, got lucky there. We got damn lucky there. Usually those cars in that bad of shape, it's like maybe you get one of the two if you're lucky. The previous car we did, I think we think the engine block was salvageable. We end up having to buy a new one. Yeah, it was you know, not a big deal, but I like to be able to salvage those if I or save those if I can. Alright. So let's those two in cleaned out the inventory so flywheel fuel filter oil filter uh engine block I accidentally hit the button six pistons with conrod and we need five five crankshaft bearing caps and an alternator Okay. Let's go. Uh, okay. Flywheel, thank you. Fuel filter, done there. Uh, oil filter, standard parts. So let's get the pistons. Uh, the alternator's performance, uh, of course it is. Right, let's go over here, get our oil filter, uh, five crankshaft bearing caps, and six rod caps, and ring, rings, up, up. Not rings, rings, rings. There we go. Six. All right. Let's do this. filter on there, the alternator, put these bearing caps in first, since we've done a v6 usually we do v8s or v12s or at least that's what we've been doing lately all right go interesting to see what kind of horsepower we get out of this thing That's everything. It is. An oil pan, clutch plate, monolithic engine head, and what else? Thing up here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Do I have anything that's a performance part? Clutch plate. Okay. Got that out of the way. Get the rest of this from the regular shop. Oh, 
Oh shit. Hang on. Screwed up. You know how I screwed up? I bought the engine head at the wrong shop because I wasn't paying attention. We almost missed out on that 10% performance increase. Alright, today's been kind of a messed up day. I spent a good chunk of today troubleshooting an issue with, cause, like I said, this computer that I'm doing this recording on is uh, as of, well, a month ago, uh, or a month or two ago, was 10 years old. Now, it's been upgraded quite a bit. You know, it's been given SSDs, doubled the memory, gave it a better video card, new case, new cooling system, uh, in terms of like the fans and stuff, because I don't do the liquid cooled stuff. Uh, it's gotten everything changed but the motherboard and the processor, essentially. And we had a power glitch the other day, actually it was yesterday, and it damaged, I think, part of the motherboard, or at least uh, caused one of the uh, USB hubs in on the motherboard to go out to lunch. Basically, anything that was connected, actually, if nothing was connected, it still just acted like it was, it kept wanting to disconnect something. Like, you, you'd hear that little typical Windows sound that you hear when you disconnect a USB device. It would be just like a, a, an intermittent trickle of those. By the way, we got not one, not two, three two barrel carburetors. Got the spark plugs. So we got camshaft A. I'm assuming we're going to get a different camshaft here, but I think I need to put that distributor in first. Got the exhaust manifolds. Didn't get the uh, pressure plate, did we? No, we did not. We do now. All right, let's go order some parts. So yeah, I've been having tech issues most of ever since yesterday. Remember when I said on the previous episode where I was trying to do a recording in the morning and I had to record it twice? Yeah, that was when that problem started. It's just been one clusterfuck after another. But everything seems to be working for the moment. I don't want to jinx it, but... Okay, camshaft A. Six spark plugs. Distributor. Three double barrel carburetors. Well, I picked six there, but Brain doing its own math there, apparently. Okay, that actually that one actually bolts on. That's interesting. Most of the others just pop right in. Come on, get it, get get in there. <clears throat> All right, your exhaust manifolds right here. Take manifold, yep, camshaft B. Let's see. Two, three, four. 
I'm assuming there's going to be four on this side too. It looks like there is. So yeah, good call. Uh, camshaft B, camshaft caps, intake manifold. Uh, we need the distribution rotor. It looks like we need a cam gear. And a clutch release. Clutch release bearing if I can get my mouth to work. Alright. Intake manifold. Ooh, shiny and red. Um, okay, distributor rotor. You, I think, are. Oh, nope, camshaft B is a performance part. <coughs> Alright. Let's go over here, get our standard parts. Clutch release bearing. You. I think I'll need two cam gears by the time we get done with all this. I have a feeling because the other one's probably going to need one as well. Yeah. As soon as we put that in there, yeah, it's going to want a cam gear, so I'll save myself a step there. Interesting to see these different engine designs. Intake manifold. The red adds like 10 horsepower. You know that, right? Like the old joke with the uh, paint jobs. Paint it red, it adds horsepower. Okay, I guess I'm the only one that remembers that. I'm that old. Or maybe I'm conflating that with uh, you paint it red and you get more tickets, but release bearing we could slap that on there and I'll take care of the rest of the clutch stuff and what else we got here chief if we got a big hunk and timing chain all right back to it uh, those both are performance parts the timing chain isn't Uh, let's see. I think that's probably going to use a clip B, but let's find out. Every damn time. It's always clip B. Or almost always clip B. Uh, head cover, head cover, ignition wires. Oh, you need a uh, all our cam gear and some shoes. Right. Yeah, I don't think any of the rest of these are performance parts. Okay, got your first head cover, got your other head cover right here. Got us a little cam gear. Two timing chain shoes. Sure, we get those clips on there. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, get these timing shoes put on. Nope. Focus. There you go. We've got everything in the back here, it looks like it. Okay, we've got the pulley and the water pump. Go. Pump pulley. Serpentine belt. And a fan to cap it all off. staring on this bastard. Okay, I think that's everything. Not seeing any grayed out parts. Cool. <clears throat> He's a big engine. Give her that. Alright, let's get her out of here. Get her back in the car. Yeah, everything's green, no missing parts. Everything's happy. And we're golden. Okay, let's get you out of here. Assembly mode. Okay, need that. Fuse box, brake servo, washer fluid, radiator and battery. I think that's it. All right. Over to electrical. You know, got battery and fuse box space B. Fuse box. Cover B. Brake servo. Washer reservoir. Radiator. We'll get the fuses here in a second. I want to get the rest of the stuff placed first. Alright. To electrical, two type A's, type B, two type C's, two type A's, two type C's, and relay type B.
All right, let's get some of the fluids in. Uh, let's see, we're going to go disassembly mode so we can do that. Forbidden milkshake in there, aka the brake fluid. That should be it for the engine compartment. We're going to take care of the fuel system and exhaust. fuel pump. This uses a bog standard fuel pump. That's done. Got a rear muffler. Hey please, thank you. Middle muffler. Damn. Two middle mufflers and two front exhaust, all of which are going to be performance parts. A, exhaust section A, exhaust section B. Right, I think we screwed up somewhere. Uh, hang on. There we go. I just happened to notice that. I'm just like, hey, wait a minute. Middle muffler B, middle muffler A. Rear muffler A. Rear muffler B. Subtle but important differences in shape, apparently. Let's look at these on while we're down here. Yeah, it just says standard drive shaft. I don't know why that glitched out on me earlier. Yeah. I managed to break the game somehow. Kind of. Not really break it, just... You know what I mean. Okay, so we're going to hold off on putting that on until we get the rear suspension taken care of. Already looking a million times better, though. In fact, we're up to 71% part percent, uh, park condition. <sighs> Not too bad. Alright, so we're to the point now where all we have to do is, the, or should have to do, is the rear suspension in the front, because everything else should be taken care of by now. We've got all the fluids in, the engine's redone, body's good, interior's good. Tires are spectacular.
They don't make cars like this anymore. One out. There you go. I don't know how much of this we're going to be able to fix, but we're going to try. Alright, let's get over here and do the same thing with this. percentage is not so great but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay <clears throat> you guys saw that earlier in the in the video where it's like I try to do I try to pick the part or rather add the part two by parts shopping list while it was while the gearbox was not connected and it showed like something like drive shaft hashtag aston martin yeah it was internal reference to the part but man that that's i've never seen it kind of wig out like that before that was actually kind of kind of weird So where'd that leave us? Damn good shape is where it left us. 100% of on all the parts here. Actually pretty darn good considering where we were. So actually number spring. Yeah, the it's fine. I was gonna to try to, you know, mill the brake, or not mill the brakes, but put them on the gizmo that'll, you know, grind them. But again, like, yeah, I can only do that to really one of them, and it's not gonna be worth doing, honestly. Okay, so we got the drive shaft. Everything else looks good. Two rear springs. Okay, got your rubber bushings. <sighs> Two rear shock caps. Brand new brake discs. A brake pad, because we replaced the other one earlier. Your shock absorbers. One caliper brake cylinder. Two leaf spring U bolts. And a rear knuckle housing. Right. Add on. Drive shaft put in. Perfect. Nope. Oh, nope. Oh, back out. Back out. <laughs> I 
Alright, let's get the rest of this put in. Put that nice, beautiful tire back on. My 80 tools mobile had the little spoky bits on it for the part of the hubcap. It was only decorative, but it still looked pretty. Sure, we got all the parts we did there's one freshly rebuilt uh, rear suspension just that easy all right so we're going to do the same thing up here that we did on the back suspension Tear it all apart, fix what we can, replace what we can't. Bearing come out. There we go. Okay, you need to come out. I can do the rest of this. Nope, nope, nope. Back up, thank you. You, my friend, were missing bushings. Like, completely. We're going to do a preemptive action there. Put those on the order block because we know we're going to need them. Rule of thumb with these when they have the cross member and the uh, upper and lower control arms, or uh, suspension arms, excuse me, <clears throat> is uh, four bushings, four regular but rubber bushings for each side, and then four for the cross member. So if you're working on a car like this that's missing parts, you'll need a total of 12. Oh, we can get the other little bits off here. Oopsie. You get to work on enough of these cars, you start seeing patterns and you kind of start anticipating a little bit. Uh, did we forget? Oh, we forgot the other inner tie rod. Oops. You don't want to get too big a hurry, though. It may it may seem like it, but I'm not actually trying to speed run these. It's just like I said, you do enough of these, some of the stuff you get to kind of anticipate what kind of parts you're going to need and how to, certain things are going to go together or come apart. And uh, once you figure that stuff out, it you, know, you inevitably speed up over time, well, for the most part. Okay. 
We don't need to take the other assembly part because it's already 100%. Fuck. Guess I'll have to order that part. I was going to screw one of those up eventually. Not the end of the world. This means we got to buy another part. Okay. So. Oh, kind of like last time. We have a page full of 100%. Everything looks kosher here. We're going to need to order a bunch of other stuff. The brake discs on this one are on the front are just bad enough. I'm not even gonna bother trying to, you know, grind them down. Hey, okay, let's go buy our last big batch of parts here. Okay, it's gonna. Go through this really quick. Planner tie rods. A couple of brake pads. Okay. Looking pretty good. Front spring. Sway link. Upper suspension arm. Wheel hub caps. Those things are rusty as shit. Front shock cap. Two vented brake discs. Only one steering knuckle. Sway bar. Front wheel hub. Actually, remember to put the assembly together this time before starting the assembly. That helps. Get the cross member in first. Get its requisite parts in. Oh, we don't have to mess with that later. <clears throat> in there come on take one there we go my mouse was moving around and it was going back and forth between that end link and the wishbone suspension assembly and it's like pick one care of that side get over here and we'll do the same for this okay let's get this other suspension arm on Bearing in, cap, 
caliper. Okay, check our inventory. Inventory's empty. Let's check our numbers. Hey, we are at a hundred percent condition for everything. Sweet. Let's get you over to the alignment rack. Close enough. That one's pretty much bang on. Okay, I'll have to do that one. Okie dokie. Go to the dino room. See what our numbers are. That looks so pretty. Okay, 282 horsepower and 288 pound feet of torque. Most of these older cars we get somewhere around a 60 to 80 percent increase for both, so let's see where we end up. Go, baby, go! Four sixty seven horsepower, a gain of one hundred and eighty six, and four sixty nine pound feet of torque for a gain of one eighty two, respectively. About sixty four, around mid sixties percent increase on both. Pretty respectable. We're expecting a hot rod. This is, you know, a fancy car. All right, let's get you out front for some beauty pictures. It's going to be a thumbnail for the video. There you go. Very photogenic. All right, let's get her over to the speed track. We'll see how fast she can go. <coughs> All right. Off we go. Ooh, very solid start there. 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160 162 Again, it's not all about speed with these cars. Sometimes it's about control. I would imagine in the hands of a proper driver, this thing would rock on a modern racing circuit. We're in the garage. Alright, so we have ourselves a fully restored Aston Martin DB5. You saw the, the dyno results, you saw the speed track. So let's look at the final numbers. See where we ended up. So, bought it for 7700 You see the condition bonus and the parts and body and values, how they add in, how they factor into everything. Uh, 
we have a total sale value of 187.8 with a profit of about 180,000. Considering where we started with a, you know, a junkyard edition DB5 and we brought her up to mint condition. I'd say this one turned out pretty damn well. If I may say so myself here. Okay. Oh, hey, we're back over a million. What? Damn. All right. Before we close up shop for the night, let's move some stuff around. So this is the... Uh, uh, we need to go bay one. Okay. This is the DBS. That will be the next episode. We have the DBX, which will be two. I did actually try to clean it. It's this is better than what it was when you first saw it. It's still it's still pretty gnarly. This one looks like somebody tried to replace the hood. Uh, yeah, this one's gonna be the one we breathe on and get it to look nice. Hopefully, it should be a pretty quick turnaround. Okay. So that we're going to pull. Probably a filler car out of parking. Let's go take a look at what we got. Oh, nope, too far. Okay, so that's... Or Atelier, those are all DLC cars. I went and bought a whole bunch of extra vehicles. Actually, I think we might just do this one next. This is a Salem earthquake for a Salem earthquake Rex. So for those who haven't been following along, Salem is like the in game equivalent to Ford. You had the Salem fastback, which was the Ford Mustang, right? So that should be a clue. This is basically a Ford F-150. I completely forgot this was in there until I started shopping around, looking at stuff. I think we'll do this one next, because the, th the F-350 was, still is, by far, and I thank you guys dearly for this. It is the most popular uh, video on the channel, on, on the YouTube channel. Of this entire series. It, it, it's literally alone, it's, it's over like 200, 250 somewhere. I, I lost count. I have to go back and look. We're well over 200 views, let's put it that way just on the F-350 build alone. So, yeah, we might actually do this one as the next filler episode. And it's, like I say, it's mostly intact. Uh, let's take a look at the, the numbers. So, yeah, we need some work. But I have a feeling we're going to make this one look... I have some plans for this one. Move you to position three. So yeah, we got that to look forward to in the future. Kind of surprised they didn't put an F-150 in there. Maybe they didn't because of the fact that the Salem uh, earthquake was already there. One thing I don't like, it's not the crew cab. It's the next one down. Because you have like the standard cab. You have the one with the suicide door, which this isn't the suicide door. This is a, you know, just a shortened door. Uh, but on some trucks, like the, the old... Uh, I'll say the old Rangers had a suicide door where it was hinged the other way. And then you had like the crew cap, which is what I have for my Silverado that I have in real life. Uh, and I think that 350 was a crew cab as well. But anyway, that's what we got to look forward to. So we got three cars left in the Aston Martin DLC. And then we've got ourselves a really nice filler episode coming up. I say filler as if it's a bad thing. It's really not. It just means basically it's just it's something to work on in between uh, DLCs. So, and like I said, we've got a, a good reserve of other filler cars that we're going to be doing, um, including that Salem Flamo. <laughs> Which, if that's what I think it is, and I have to go look it up on their wiki, I'm pretty sure that's a Ford Pinto. Which makes the Flamo name even more uh, appropriate if you know the history of that vehicle. It had a history of backing into things and going boom catching fire real easy 
But anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Appreciate you sticking with me so far. Hit the uh, subscribe button if you want. See more episodes, get notifications when the new videos come out. I try to do about three, over two or three a week. With my equipment issues, I got kind of slowed down and the weather thing kind of slowed things down too, but I'm trying to do between two and three a week when I have time. Doing interviews, job hunting, stuff like that. So my schedule's kind of in flux right now. But again, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.